Hello everyone. Happy New Year. Hope you've had a wonderful holiday from Christmas all the way through New Year with family and friends, whether in person or on Zoom. Hope you are now all ready and set to take on this New Year 2021. You know, at Bethel, what we do to start the New Year is take a fast. And then you say, why a fast? Well, there were people that had questions about fasting. And I find in my life that anytime I have a question, I need to go into the Bible. What does Jesus have to say about fasting? Actually, when you go in the Bible, you will find different places where he addressed fasting. But the one I'm going to be talking about today is the one that you will find in Matthew chapter 9, verse 14 to 17. You know, at that time, actually, the question was, why don't your disciples fast? And Jesus found a way to turn that question around to answer the importance of preparing yourself if you are going to fast. So, one day the disciples of John the Baptist came to Jesus and asked him, why do we and the Pharisees fast, but your disciples don't fast? So Jesus responded, should the wedding guests mourn while celebrating with the groom? Someday he'll be taken from them and then they will fast. And who would patch an old garment with unshrunk cloth? Or the patch shrinks and falls away from the old cloth, leaving an even bigger hole than before. And no one puts new wine into old wine skin. The old skins will burst from the pressure, spilling the wine and ruining the skins. New wine must be stored in new wine skin. That way, both the wine and the wine skins are preserved. Yes, it's just like Jesus to talk in parables. But you know, he was talking about things that they were all familiar with. He was saying to them that yes, maybe the disciples were not fasting then, but there will come a time when they will fast after Jesus has already left them. And that is the season we're in. Jesus has already gone. And so we're in a place where we will need to fast. But while he was in fellowship with them on a daily basis, there was no need. He was there to give them all the answers and the insights and everything that they needed. But here we are today. He's not here in person. And so to be able to connect with him spiritually, we will need to prepare ourselves. You know, he was saying, this is new wine you are looking for when you are fasting. You want something new to be poured into you, new insight, information, questions that may be in your heart that you want answered. But we can't just put it in an old wine skin, meaning if we just give it to you that way, you're not prepared yet to hear it. And I can really relate to that because on a daily basis, I'm just so busy. My mind is busy, I'm running up and down. You know, if you tried to give me any information, I couldn't really get a hold of it. So nothing like a fast to help you get rid of your busyness, get rid of your appetite, and develop a new appetite for the things of God. So I thought it was really interesting what they said about reconditioning old wineskin. Because you know, old wineskins are not thrown away simply because they are old. He said, no, they just need to be cleaned up and then soaked in oil until they're rejuvenated. And then they get their supple and soft nature back. And now they're ready for new wineskin and for the new wine. So you can see that even as we are going to be going into fasting, something's going to be happening in our lives. We're going to be cleaned up. We are going to be soaked 
in oil in the presence of God and you're going to be rejuvenated you're ready to receive the new wine God is bringing to us you know 2020 has been a really difficult year um, there's been a lot of conspiracy ideas of all kinds that we've been entertaining with news, um, calamities happening here and there, and then the pandemic has just been there. And everyone has had to carry it in their heart, try to figure out what's going on, what's God doing, what does God have to say, what is this new year going to be like? They talked about the vaccines, what is going to happen. We have perhaps 10,000 questions. But you don't want to get your answers in your business. You need to take time aside to be able to hear what the Lord is saying. So our plan this year is to meet for the 21 days to be able to spend time hearing the word of God every time, spending time in his presence, in worship, and listening for what he has to say. Also praying and sharing our requests with him. In that time, we prepare ourselves. We're going to be able to get rid of our old unproductive ideas. Some things that, some ideas that came to us last year fears and anxieties, conspiracies of all kinds. We can, we can use this time to get rid of them. We have to change our thinking, open our minds up for what God has for us. We want to start to be expecting new things from the Lord. Our ears need to be able to hear what the Father is saying so that we can welcome his new instructions into our heart. So, yes, I know you can do a one-day fast and you can do a three-day fast, but the one we're doing this year is 21 days. And I'm inviting you to participate. At whatever level you want to participate, participate anyway. Either you're doing a partial fast or a full fast, all kinds of fasts that there are, we have some of those instructions for you on our website and we believe that through it you can set up something for yourself. But go the distance, wait on the Lord, spend this time expecting the instructions that you're going to need for this new year. Let this time be a time when you're going to weed away the lies you've been believing, the fears that's been encroaching upon your thoughts. Let this time be a time when you're going to hear what God wants to do through you in the new year. What he wants to do in your family, what he wants to do in your city, what he wants to do in your nation. We want this time to be a time where we, we position ourselves so that we can hear of the signs and wonders that God says must follow us as his disciples so please go to our website at bethelwpg.com and you'll see all the information the schedule the times for prayer and you can register and you'll get your link to the zoom meetings that's going to be going on every day for the 21 days you know we are stronger together as we come together, we, we're working together. Each one of us, we've got changes to make. Each one of us, we've got some weeding to do. Each one of us is going to be rejuvenated, ready for whatever God has for us in this new year. So get excited. Get excited. Don't plan to do just one or two days. No, no, no. Go the distance. We have a whole year ahead of us. And we want to really use this time to get ourselves ready, set, and ready to go. So, looking forward to seeing you on Zoom. And I'm looking forward to 
praying along with you for the different requests that you may have. And we're believing that as we condition ourselves, there'll be room for the new wine. The new wine. Instructions through our dreams, through visions, however God knows how to get to us, He will speak to us. There will be encounters in these 21 days. Get ready and stay blessed.